Hey guys, for this episode, I have partnered with my friends at Swanson to show you how you can make one of my favorite recipes for the holidays, a coco vin. A coco vin is a traditional French dish that's made by braising chicken in wine and chicken broth until it's tender and juicy. It's also a great idea for Christmas dinner because the whole thing can be made the day before. In fact, it's even better if you make it the day before because it allows for all those flavors to marry. Let me show you how to put it together. So we're first going to begin by melting some butter in an oven-safe casserole. This is ultimately going to go into the oven, so you do want to pick something that has a lid that is oven-safe. To that, you're going to add seven strips of bacon that have been roughly chopped, and go ahead and saute it up until it's nice and crispy, and then you can go ahead and transfer it with a slotted spoon to a plate that's been lined with a paper towel. But don't get rid of that bacon fat that's in the bottom of the pan. There's a ton of flavor in that pan, and we're gonna use it to saute up our chicken legs. So you're gonna take six bone-in skin-on chicken legs, season them with salt and pepper to taste, and then you're gonna place it in the pan, skin side down, and just brown each side until it's nice and golden. Then you can go ahead and remove the legs and put them on a plate to rest while we prep the rest of the dish. Then you're gonna take two carrots that have been peeled. You're gonna slice them into one inch chunks, just cutting on the diagonal because I find that's really pretty that way. And then you're also gonna add three quarters cup of frozen pearl onions, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Just go ahead and sprinkle it on the vegetables. Saute that up in the same pan, no need to wash it out. Again, we're just building lots of flavor until those vegetables are tender and caramelized. Then next, we are going to add a third of a cup of cognac. Now, anytime I'm adding alcohol to a pan on a cooktop, I do turn off the flame. Because if you end up spilling any of the cognac and you have an open flame, that's gonna be dangerous. So I do recommend just turning it off, add your cognac, and then you're also gonna add half a cup of red wine. Then you're gonna turn your flame back on to about a medium high, and then we're gonna add a cup of chicken broth. So for this recipe, I am using the Swanson bottled broth. I really love this product. They just came out with it and I think it's really fantastic because it has all of the measurements right on the side. So no need to go out and dirty up one more measuring cup. You can just look on the side and measure out what you need. Love that idea, totally genius. The chicken broth is going to add a really nice, deep, rich flavor to our coco vin. Now, if you don't drink alcohol, you could also make this stew with just chicken broth. So I would take the measurements of the alcohol and just turn that into more chicken broth and you would have a very lovely stew as well. So go ahead and give that a stir and then next we are going to add three cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and two tablespoons of fresh thyme, and one fresh or dried bay leaf. And then we're also gonna add a teaspoon of salt. And go ahead and just stir that up until everything is combined. And then we are going to make a slurry to thicken up our stew. So all we're gonna do is take two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water, stir it up with a fork, and then we are gonna pour that into our pot. And what that is going to do is thicken up our coco vin and give it a nice velvety smooth texture. And once it starts to boil and bubble, you can turn it down to a simmer. And then the final thing is just three dashes of Worcestershire sauce. So at this point, we can go and take our cooked bacon, put it back into the pot, as well as place our chicken legs on top. Now our coco vin is ready for the oven. So we are going to take our lid, pop it on top, and place it in a 350 degree oven for just 25 minutes to begin. And meanwhile, we are going to saute up some button mushrooms that have just been quartered in a little bit of butter. We're just gonna give them a nice stir until they're nice and browned. And then at the 25 minute mark, you wanna go in with your mushrooms, add them to the pot, put the lid back on, and go for another 20 minutes. Now, if you were making this the day before, here's what I would do. I would let this cool down completely, put it in your fridge overnight, then when it comes time to reheat the stew, you're going to remove the lid, and I like to add a little bit more chicken broth at this point, just about a splash, maybe a quarter cup or so, just to loosen that sauce, because overnight it does have a tendency to thicken up a bit. So just a splash will do the trick, give it a stir, put it back in the oven at 300 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until that chicken is warmed through. 
Now you won't be using all the broth for this recipe, but it will stay in your fridge for a few days afterwards. So if you wanna use it to kind of moisten leftovers, that's always a good idea. Or one of the things that I like to do is actually pour it out into an ice tray and put it in my freezer. And that way, whenever I'm cooking and I need just a small amount of chicken broth, I can just pop out a cube and add it to the sauce. And then the final step is just to garnish it with a little bit more fresh sprigs of thyme. When you bring this to the table, your guests will be so impressed that you made a cocoa vin from scratch. It always gets such oohs and ahs, especially for an occasion like Christmas dinner. I love this recipe because you have that rich, delicious sauce mingling with those tender vegetables and of course the juicy chicken underneath. It's the perfect thing that really hits the spot on a cold winter's night and the whole thing can be made the day before and no one needs to know. How great is that? <laughs> I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And if I don't see you before then, have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and I will see you back here next time. Bye.